a low straw. And uh, I just kind of wanted to uh, uh, take the opportunity to, to, uh, to give you a little history on agriculture and how it has progressed over the last hundred years. Uh, sometimes I think we get just a little bit spoiled uh, because we, we don't realize how hard uh, people used to have it. We're just kind of used to the technology that we have now, and it has made it so much easier. Um, but when in 19 and 20, uh, my great-grandpa, Avril Pratt, and his family, uh, they built the dairy barn uh, down there where my brother milks cows now. And uh, as far as hay goes, they really only had one option, and uh, that was to haul the hay in loose. Uh, so that they would mow the hay and get it dry, and then they would load that hay with forks on wagons. They would haul it to the barn. At the barn, uh, there was a hay hook on a rail that had a rope and a pulley system, and the hay hook would come down out of the barn loft and onto the wagon load of hay, close onto the hay, and there was a horse tied to a rope which would walk across the road, down the driveway, across from the dairy barn, which would lift the hay hook, take it back into the barn, the hook would open and drop the hay. So that gives you an idea of their, uh, how much there, there really wasn't very much traffic on Rankins Creek Road in 19 and 20. Uh, for a horse to be able to walk all the way down that driveway with that rope across the road. So it's kind of interesting how things have changed. But uh, from that, uh, there was uh, the invention of the stationary square baler which they still had to haul the hay in loose, but at the barn they could have a stationary baler that would make square bales out of it. They would just feed the hay in and uh, it, would, uh, it would make the square bales, which I never really thought about. Uh, the fact uh, I was talking to an older farmer out back of Ironton the other day, and he said it made it so much easier for farmers to be able to sell their hay, uh, to, you know, to be able to take hay into town to haul it. Uh, and I never really, that never occurred to me how difficult it would have been to take a big old loose pile of hay on a wagon into town when a lot of people still had horses in town to feed. And it made it a lot easier if it was in square bales, a lot easier to haul. So that was a huge improvement uh, in the hay industry. Um, so we'll move kind of along here. Uh, when I was six, seven years old uh, in the 70s, uh, my dad and family, uh, would uh, still square bale an awful lot of hay. And uh, they would square bale all 20,000 bales in the summer. And it was all hauled in on pickup trucks. They'd drive the pickup truck along the field, loaded up 53 bales to the load. And uh, now, I, a lot of you have done that, and you know that's work. You go to hauling bales in on a pickup, throwing it up on that truck, and hauling it to the barn, unloading it, you do that uh, over 20,000 bales. Man, that's a, that's a long summer. But uh, that's the way they did it for several years. And uh, uh, along the late 70s there, uh, my dad got the first round baler, which was another huge improvement. Uh, you, anybody that's got access to a tractor or anything that is capable of lifting a round bale, you can take what is equal to 15 or 30 square bales in a round bale you can fork that, lift it, take it, and, uh, and feed it. So that was, a, that was another huge improvement uh, in the hay industry as well. And that's basically mostly what we do here still. We square bale some, but mostly round bales. And, uh, but then after that, in the last several years here, uh, they have come up, uh, and you should get on YouTube and uh, watch a few videos on it. It's really interesting. Hay accumulators and grapples. Uh, it's kind of a new thing. It's been around a while, but uh, it allows the farmer to be able to square bale hay with a tractor, and then you can go along and pick up. There's different sizes. They can be in cubes of 10 bales, 12 bales, 15 bales, on up uh, around that. But you can pick those bales up, load them on the trailer, and it's really uh, allowed two people to be able to bale and handle a lot of hay. And if nothing goes wrong, you never have to touch the first bale. And today you can do that in an air-conditioned tractor. So times have really changed. I mean, it's really no huge feat for two people 
to bale 1,500 bales in a day. Uh, so that has that's really changed things a lot. So, uh, but I just kind of want to do a little uh, kind of a history lesson on hay and how things have improved and how we've really got it easy. We're gonna get this straw unloaded. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch up with you on the next video.